right quick. We got two and a half. Oh my god. Uh, People ask me all the time, is this what? Yeah. Man, they should stick to taking out stuff in this one. That is for sure. So let's get on Frank. Down in the 20s this morning. Uh, today is November the 16th. Y'all should be watching this video on the 17th. A little crazy fact for us here in our area. On the 14th of November, we actually had snow and ice here. Uh, usually if we get any snow, it's usually on over into uh, January, early February. Something like that. So we're having some uh, very, very crazy weather. Here right now currently uh, had several people say you know when I commented and I said that uh, it was 35 the other day you know they said that that's that's not cold and uh, but the winters here are very much like our summers it's a uh, very wet wet very high humidity during the winter time kind of cold and so I've had some people here visiting, you know, it's been from like up in Canada and places like that. And it'll be 30 here and they'll show up on the job and they say, they'll say, I can't believe that it's 30 degrees or 35 or whatever. It feels like it's down below zero compared to what they have because of moisture in there. Look at that ground right there. Us do. So that's what we're going to have to deal with today. I was going to try to get it when he first cranked it, but I was trying to get my printer synced up to my uh, ticket phone here. Because that right there always puffs out some good coal smoke when you first crank it up right there.
Alright, we're going to be shaking around a little bit. I'm going to push this truck out of here. This is load number four this morning. So we're actually doing pretty good. We just need it to keep drying. We've had about around about eight inches of rain in the last week or so, last few days. Hang on, even. Let me catch it. Alright, now I go. Now wait on me to get up against him. There to help him. And then I gotta be gentle so I don't bend that bolster or tear it up too. And I've got a power line. He's right there, his stacks are up on the power line. So I have to remember that power line's there so I don't stick my boom into it and uh, knock it down. There he goes, all right, he's got it now. So I got one more truck to load it on the first round and that's my dad, he's fixing them back in here and uh, that'll be five on this on this round. And we'll get him out. about the uh, wire and then the air hoses and stuff like that on these trailers, how they're run. They're run on the inside of those frames, frame rails there, on these trailers. And I mean, I could hit them if I really wanted to, but I've never hit one of those. I've hit them with trees and stuff when I've been loading them, but I've never hit them with my grapple or anything like that. Bust any of them or anything. So just watch where you grab them. As long as we're where you see me grab them at, it's uh, on ours, it ain't gonna hurt a thing. Okay. Alright, so we're doing pretty good despite how wet it is. I think that was load number nine. I'll tell you right quick. Yeah, that was number nine. I just loaded. We're about to eat lunch here. And uh, the road's still very wet though. I don't want to push that off or anything. It's not going down, it's just slick. And I don't wanna don't wanna cut down through that yet. What we will do is is once that road dries completely up where we can work it real good, then we'll have a load of rock put in here on it and that'll fix it then. But it's just it's been too wet for us to do anything with it. Just gotta get that moisture out. We've had so much rain here last uh, week and a half or so. So we done the day in today. I've got a, this half inch line right here. Well, I'll climb up here and show y'all right quick. She's done wore out right there. It's leaking, it hadn't busted completely. But uh, it's a half inch line. That's actually the case drain line that comes off the saw motor right there for the case drain on it and returns back to the uh, machine. We ended up with uh, 15 a day despite how wet it was. Truck still can't quite pull out. I'm having to help them a good bit to get them up. We actually had to pull a couple out. We raked this road around some. That kind of bit us a little bit, but all in the same respect, we were trying to get it to dry out some, but man, this has got some moisture in this in this area right here there's some serious moisture in it you can see how deep that cut down right there we just uh, need a little bit more sunshine on it and get some of this moisture out of it and we'll be good to go i'll be back in just a second there and uh, we'll wrap this video so while on this it. windshield is still a little bit warm today or tonight rather i'm going to go ahead and install the dash cam right here, the Garmin 55. It's good. I know it's good. How do you know? How do I know it's good? I don't know it's good. I just know it's good. You know what I mean? I know it's good. Now, I've had uh, tons and tons of Garmin stuff over the years. All of my geocache and GPSs were all uh, Garmin. That's the reason why I went with the Garmin. It's actually got a glue-on piece that glues on to the glass. That's the reason why I'm going to do it right now while, while the glass is still warm and uh, to give it time to set up uh, this evening tonight and then I can put the camera on it in the morning when I leave out but I'm going to use this for several different things uh, there's a lot of times I see some really really neat stuff while I'm driving and I'm gonna be able to take those clips I'll save them as I'm driving and 
I'll incorporate them into my videos, especially when I'm traveling some. And I can also do, I can take the footage from this here also, and I can speed it up into like a time lapse type of thing and uh, use that also too. So there's a lot of good uses uh, for this that I'm going to be able to do. Uh, I bought it. They didn't send it to me. I bought it. I paid for it and all that good stuff. So we're going to... Uh, install this dude right now like i said i don't know anything about it but it's a camera so i mean how hard could it be i've only got about 15 cameras so i got my cotton ball rubbing alcohol alcohol we're fixing to lick it and stick it here so uh quality is very important on this thing this one right here films in 14 40 10 80 they make a garmin 65 this a uh, extreme wide angle and I didn't like it because some of the stuff I looked at on it, you couldn't make out certain things in the quality on it, like uh, tag numbers and stuff like that. Look at how small that freaking thing is. Holy smokes. I knew it was going to be small, but I didn't realize it was going to be that small. That's all right right there. Uh, the main reason I got this one is because of what it'll do in low light, like at night driving and stuff like that. Yeah, I forgot too. You can put Garmin's Verb, V-I-R-B, that's their action camera. You can put it on your phone, and this thing will stream back to your phone like all my other cameras will, too. It'll it'll stream back to it. So I was just reading here on the install, and you got to stick the adhesive thing on there, and you got to give it the you got to give it the old 24 hours. So it'll be tomorrow evening before I can actually stick the camera on and then play with the camera and all that good stuff. So that's, I feared it was like that. That's the reason why I was doing some reading. So that's kind of a bummer, but so uh, y'all are watching this video right here today, which is Saturday, we're going to be working in the woods. We've been rained out a lot in the last month or so. So next week's coming up is a holiday and we're going to be trying to make up just a little bit, um, you know, because the amount of time that we've worked, just keep our fingers crossed that that road will continue drying out and it'll get on drying out, dried out to where we can uh, really do something with it and make it make it work for us like what we need it to. But uh, that camera that I showed, the uh, dash cam, it came with an 8 gig card in it too, so that ups the value on it a little bit more. So I'll get to play with that thing a little bit tomorrow. But uh, if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. Hope y'all enjoy your Saturday. Hope you enjoy your weekend this weekend. And of course, uh, so a while ago, Thanksgiving week coming up. The holidays are upon us, man. Yeah, whether you like it or not, they are here. Uh, but I'm going to let y'all go for now. Uh, we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.